So today we're going to learn about the diaphragm. This is difficult to draw, so I've drawn the basic structure and we'll just learn at what passes through which opening. So um, first of all, this depicts the sternum. And then here is the sternal attachment. And then this bit here is the foramen of Morgagni. This is the foramen of Boctolet. I think I said that right, I'm not sure. And then we have some muscles. We have the quadratus lumborum, QL, and we have the psoas. Here it shows the right crus and the left crus of the diaphragm. So the right um, is attached to L1, 2 and 3, and the left is only 1 and 2, which is shown in this diagram. And then we have the 12th rib, the main diaphragm, and then this here is a central tendon. So looking at each um, opening, so we have the caval opening at T8. This passes through the vena cava and also the right phrenic nerve. R phrenic and vena cava have eight letters and they pass through the diaphragm at T8. That's how I remember it. So the next opening is the esophageal opening. So within there you will have the esophagus. Esophagus has 10 letters and it passes through at T10. So which nerve is it? Well, the vagal nerve. That is the 10th cranial nerve. So I remember that because it's the 10th cranial nerve, T10. And then we have the left gastric vessels. It's not quite 10, but left gastric is 11 letters. So I try and remember it that way, um, but not perfect, my theory. And then we have the aortic hiatus. So aorta, obviously that's in the aortic hiatus. The thoracic duct, well, thoracic duct has 12 letters and passes through at T12. And then we have the azygous um, vein. Again, that doesn't quite fit my memory help, but um, hopefully it will help you learn what goes where.